Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Thinking about stuff off camera, I realize I'm kind of getting the, to the end of stuff like regarding dialogue that I may miss at this moment in time. So I think I'm going to run over to a couple places and talk to a bunch of people first. Hello, welcome to the challenge hall. Timestamps are in the side and description, you know, as usual. <laughs> this is the building here. We hold a challenge cup tournament, but we can't hold a new cup since everyone's cards are missing. Wonder who did that. Please do something. It's always on me, I swear. <laughs> ah, it's no use. I shouldn't have even come. There won't be a challenge cup held until everyone's cards are returned. If you didn't know, the challenge cup is a famous card tournament. The prize for winning it is a special promotional card, but we have no access to the tournament for a while. <laughs> I guess Team GR has to go away before it can start, huh? Yeah, you can take a look-see around here. It's got the red carpets of prestigiousness, but the doors on the sides are completely gone. <laughs> uh, they must have just cemented over that to avoid any confusion in the future. Ha ha! Hey, Mint! How are ya? I'm just fine. You say, well, you wouldn't happen to have a Graveler level 29 card, would you? If you do, I'll pebble off one of my other cards. Let's see... Wiggly Top level 36? I... Not now. <laughs> you don't want to trade? Oh, don't be so stone cold. I'll be waiting for the day when you trade me a Graveler level 20. I don't even think I have that. Actually, uh, I just want to see here. Oops, no, 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 yeah, I don't because I'm kind of low on the. Oh, I do have one. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will. I could have swore I had the other version of Graveler. Okay. Aha! I'll take this. <coughs> G. What? What? Uh. G N E I uh, Guinness Graveler level 20. Okay, okay. <laughs> and here is my wiggly tough level 36 card as promise. Woo! A very good card trade. Actually, it's probably an uneven trade because this is way more powerful than the Graveler. It's got the lullaby, put knocks out the poke. Well. You know, sleeps the Pokemon and do the way which is quite a powerful attack you can double colorless power it up but you get 10 damage plus 10 more for each of your bench professor oak bill call for family etc etc incredibly good card to have I feel so much bol bolder with my new graveler card I think I get the feeling I missed a joke somewhere in that other word that I paused at aha and thanks again for the graveler level 29 you're welcome <laughs> There's a challenge cup also on commission due to Team GR. The sooner those GR jerks disappear, the sooner the next couple starts. We've been waiting a long time for the challenge cup, but no one seems to have any cards. What are we supposed to do now? Uh, I guess I'll wait it out. I'll just sit at this table all game instead of battling the GR peeps. Colorless Pokemon are very easy to use in duels. You may use any type of energy to power their attacks. As such, they may be included in decks of any energy type, as I've shown before. Check them all out, like Wigglytuff. There are other ways to get new cards besides defeating other players. If you card pop with a friend, you'll be both receive a new card. Or if you only get one card from each friend, you should card pop with many friends and collect lots of cards. Six energy types of grass, water, fighter, electric, fighter, 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 fighting. We went through all these. There also is a special. This is like beginner box at this point. Also exists special energy cards beyond these six basic types. And any number of basic energy cards can be put into a deck, but only four of each special energy card is allowed. And we're off. <laughs> Alright, so that's the challenge hall. Uh, Pokemon Dome, there's even less to see here. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess there's... Wait, actually, I'm gonna go... I guess there's the bookshelves, but I mean, over here, this is... Yeah. <laughs> just GR member just sitting around here having a good time. Really. Hmm. Oh! Those doors are off limits! Oh, the Grandmasters get open them. And they're not here, are they? And... Okay. <laughs> I'll chat with you. That's right, Team Great Rocket has taken over the Pokemon Dome! The Grandmasters have been caught and taken the GR Island, so that's what happened to them. Once we're done with our takeover, we'll have every last card there is! Pokemon trading cards are simply wasted on the likes of you fools! We'll pick all the best cards for our decks and locks the rest away! Team GR will have all the cards in the world soon enough! <laughs> Team GR has but one purpose, we to collect every Pokemon trading card in the world. And now we know some lore. 
In search of the legendary Pokemon cards, you must first defeat the four Grand Masters in successive card duels. Courtney, Steve, Jack, and Rod, each is a skilled card player. Anyone who emerges as victor will inherit the Pokemon cards of a legend. Okay, bookshelves. The first legendary Pokemon card is Moltres level 37. Remember these from the first game? Maybe you do. Fire energy comes to your hand thanks to its fire giver Pokemon power. Dive bomb its attack does serious damage when it hits. It's a coin flip. Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen, has this card. Zapdos level 68. Power of Thunder does damage just from being put in play. Very risky card though. It, yeah, no Pokemon is safe as it can also attack your own critters. <laughs> Steve has got the card. Uh, Articuno level 37. It's quick freeze can cause paralysis. Combine that with scoop up and you can have double the chances of paralysis per turn. Ice Breath is purely powerful as well as the card Grandmaster Jack Iceman is known for. The fourth legendary Pokemon card is Dragonite. It can heal Pokemon when it pops into play with Healing Wind. And Slam is okay, I get it. It's more for the Healing Wind. And the Dragon Master Rod has got it. Four Grand Masters defend the legendary Pokemon cards. Courtney, Steve, Jack, and Rod are all master players of the Pokemon traded card game. And then we hear this from somewhere else. <laughs> coins are used for certain attacks and other events during play. There are purportedly 24 different coins for players to collect. Oh man. It, and we've only got a small chunk of them. Where are the rest of those coins then? You'll get coins from all sorts of places. Good luck finding them all. Alright, now the last place is the airport. GR airport, to be precise. Oh, there! Wait a second! GR number five, you were at the challenge hall! But you were over- now you're here! How did you do that? Only the chosen ones may pass. You don't have the four GR pieces required to be one of the chosen. <laughs> if you want in, find the GR members numbered 1 through 4 on the island. If you manage to defeat them all in card duels, I'll step aside. Every member you defeat will award you with a GR coin piece. Beat them all and you'll be given a ride to GR Island. Oh, we could just beat them up to get past. Okay, fine. I'm the non-violent type. Oh, wait. We have an airship bound for GR Island departing soon. In order to board, you'll need to collect four GR coin pieces. Please find the coin piece if you'd like to ride. So yeah, this is a destination for us in the future. We cannot speak to the statue, but take a look at the statue. It's a bust of our king, Vilasini. He's the man who made Team GR's new cards. He's so amazing, don't you think? <sighs> hmm. So he's the guy who's been counterfeiting cards. And there are some things you'll need if you want to take an airship here. GR coin pieces! You can fly anytime if you, if you have them. But how can I get some GR coin pieces? Have you not talked to... Never mind. <laughs> Alright! Uh, wait, where was I going? That's right, Lightning Club. Now we can finish off the rest of these duders here. Hopefully, with our firepower deck. Ready? Since you've beaten Nicholas, you've got to fight- Oh, maybe I missed some dialogue there. Poopers. Hmm. Hmm. Since you've beaten Nicholas, you got to fight me next. No. Sure, you can turn me down now, but don't forget us here. You're probably the only one strong enough to take down GR number four. Oh, so you were not- I mean, you weren't just swooned by the girlness. You have no choice but to fight me if you want to get the GR number four. Even if we won't like it, you gotta beat me first. Actually, wait a second. What about you? You beat Nicholas and Isaac before you even think about dueling me. If you somehow manage to pull it off, okay, I did. I get the get. I got that before. Okay, just wanted to make sure because I beat Nicholas, and I thought the dialogue may have changed. All right, Isaac, Clubmaster, it's a duel to end all duels. Try to endure yourself. <laughs> the Sky Vault deck is a go. No self-destruct in this style, he's got a different deck. And he's ready to rock the world. What? How is... My deck is not that poorly balanced, I swear. It just seems like I got less of like of stuff that I should have. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> If I don't get a basic on my next turn, or, or at least evolve Rattata, I'm a goner! Oh no! Even worse! 
<laughs> you could yell that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, because the speed of all this funny damage. What do I get? Okay, Matcha. <laughs> Thank Arceus. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do a free retreat in the mob shop because I'll be able to automatically knock it out. And I don't even need to energy removal anything because he's got the only energy card on Voltorb and everything, so. Da -da 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 -da. And Isaac's got some flying type Pokemon to resist our fighters, so that could be a problem, but at the same time, maybe not because I could stall at the very least for some more critters. Okay, Spiro. Uh, like, I can't really attack with Machop, but I'll give you a rundown of the Pidgey. Got regular Gust and Quick Attack can do 20 additional damage. So, that could be a little bit on uh, the risky side. If I don't energy removal that, but... I don't wanna... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna end off my turn here. And see what happens. You might decide to power up stuff on the bench or not. But let's see if it does 20 extra. Okay. So as a yeah, it's a 50-50 chance basically. And now I think I'm gonna use the super energy removal now that he's got. Because the thing about it was he wasn't gonna be able to knock out Machop anyway, so I was like, eh, should I let Machop potentially take 30 damage instead of 10? Maybe. Because it's not gonna knock him out anyway. Like, okay, let's suck up that energy for Pidgey. <laughs> he's probably just rolling around in anguish right now, but he has no other choice but to do so. And yes, I could uh, force a swap over to another Pokemon with Gust of Wind, but I can do that anytime. So... So, I'm just gonna keep focusing on Spiro here, do a retreat, and then do a wing attack. <laughs> Kinda save my Machop for when it can do more damage and stuff anyway, you know, like, because I, I, I can, you know, force a cycle out, basically, by knocking this Pidgey out, hopefully. Uh, another Machop, nice! That will be handy versus the Lightning, but let's Wing Attack for now! Ho ho ho! And next turn is a go-go. And, oh! Trying to use the double damage weakness, I see! Clever move, clever move, that's okay, I'm still working on getting my bad hands sorted out anyway, so we are good. Actually, you know what I should do? Let Machop out that, you know, the weak Machop, and then, uh, I was actually expecting, I, I mean, I thought I had another fire, excuse me, and I was like, well, well, I can still use it as, I guess you could say fodder. <laughs> um, yeah, because I got the other Machop waiting in the wings, so... Uh, mm, I wanna attach this to something, but I don't really... I mean, I could do it to Rattata, but Rattata is on the weak side itself, so... Yeah, it was just kind of a bad opening hand. And of course... Oh, really? No more energies, okay. Energy removal. Haha. <laughs> um... <laughs> so, now that I know... <laughs> now that I know he doesn't have energy, um... I guess I could do that and prepare for a future switch if need be, yeah. Uh, oh, I should have saved the energy for Magmar. <laughs> Magmar would have been much more versatile versus everything. Um, alright. <sighs> Those opening hands. I mean, the opening hands I've been having lately have just been poop. Oh, yes! Yes, thank Arceus! Thank Arceus. I mean, yes, I'm gonna drop an energy removal to do this, but thank Arceus. Um, actually. What I should do, just uh, try and get a knockout here. Switch to Voltorb, because I'm gonna probably end up switching to something anyway. And yeah, I guess I'll Professor Rogue. I, 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 it, it's, it's sad to lose the energy removal, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Like, where are all my draw cards typically lately? I mean, yeah, I, and there's a little energy again, and it's <laughs> so, so weird. Um, yeah, I don't, wait, look at that, I don't even have another fire. Uh, okay, you're, you're just, you're just messing with me now, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this Machop to stall with more HP. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna attach... A Fighting to Charmander. And hopefully... Hopefully things will turn around on the next turn. <laughs> Cause, you know, I could always potentially get a Charizard. I get another Charmeleon, or yeah, 
you know, yeah, for now I'll just kind of, kind of just like stall things out here. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should just drop the Charizard and go for another Professor Oak, because I, I'm, I'm just constantly in peril somehow. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that keeps happening! Okay, there's the Charmeleon. I, I can still use the Charmeleon in on itself, I just won't be able to Charizard it up. Ah, it's like, I, I don't understand my horrendous early game hands! I <laughs> like, just think about it. When I'm using Professor Oak, it's like drawing a whole new starting game hand. Oh, there's another one. Because it's seven more cards, and then I get better cards after that, but it's like my opening hands are messing me over. But at the same time, I'm still somehow recovering. I'm not sure how it works either. I'm, it's maybe I, I guess I start out with bad luck and then I start getting good luck. I don't know. <laughs> now, technically, there's no such thing as luck because the cards are predetermined after the shuffle. You know, <laughs> I guess you could say. But oh, okay, Charmeleon is a go, and. So I'm gonna knock out that Pidgey anyway. I mean, excuse me, knock out the Voltorb anyway. Energy removal that. Prepare another energy card. I should probably get that on the bench. And Philema Throa for the prize card. Ah, okay, maybe all my energy cards are in prize cards like they were during the tutorial duels. Uh, Fossil Zapdos is level 40 is hanging out there. It can attack a whole bunch of stuff with its thunderstorm move. I'll give you a rundown of that really quick here. Thunderstorm for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If heads it does a 20 damage to that Pokemon. And then Zapdos does 20 damage times the number of tails to itself, so it's risk reward in a way. But I think the uh, reward is more in your favor, aside from the higher energy cost of the Zap Thunderstorm. Now, the thing about it is that you're gonna do 40 plus 20 to a bunch of other things, and you're probably gonna take a little scratch damage to yourself for 80. So it's not that bad, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, Hitmonchan- oh, right, of course. Of course, I was not paying attention to my bench. I mean, I do have a nice, uh, setup going on here, but anyway, I guess I will... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll set that up for the s Slash of the Future. And Flamethrower, yeah! Just to make sure I've always got energy for the Slash, basically. Another Spearow is a go-go, and that's not really... Yeah, he's gonna take four turns to power that up. You, you can't even use double colorless energy or anything like that, so you must just be using that for stall. Um, I guess I'll just flamethrower right away, because the flamethrower will knock it down to 30, and then I'll be able to use said slash attack, and also be able to attach an energy card to something else. So we are good to go in that regard. I think I'll go for that Rattata now. Uh, slash. <laughs> Keep on the pressure on. And a go go with the fire O. That's actually pretty. Oh, I was gonna say that's pretty good because it's at full HP, but no. Okay, fine. You you, you got four prize cards left. Yeah, I'll give you a free one there if you. <laughs> I don't really care that much about the gust of wind. I mean, it does discard that fire I attached to Rattata in case of a switch out, but that was just something I didn't know at the time, you know. Um, yeah, let's go for the Magmar and then just regular Slash. Um, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have only one prize card after this anyway, so I only need one more flamethrower to go. So, yeah, in case something goes south, basically, I'll just kind of set up stuff in the background, but I don't think something's gonna go south in those turns. Uh, I gotta power up that Rattata into a Raticata and a Flamethrower. <laughs> I guess I could put Hitmonchan on the bench now that it's kind of lowered a little bit, but eh, you know I won't. <laughs> Happy days! So yeah, another horrendous start. Into a good ending. <laughs> I did my best. All that's left is GR number four. What? Isaac, you clumsy fool! Alright, Mint, you may have won this time. But you're still no match for me. Take some time to toughen up. I'll be waiting in the psychic club for you. Dun dun dun! See you! So yeah, we're not battling her now, or batting her later. Oh, oh, and since I don't need the lightning club anymore, it's yours. 
I don't need to collect any of the Wii cards here anyway. Later, Mint! Remember, I'll be waiting at the Psychic Club. I can't believe it! You somehow rescued the Lightning Club! Uh... Did I? Or were you just kind of swooned? I, I don't know. Please take this lightning coin as a reward! Woo! It's a Pika! And a Chew! Also known as a Sneeze. There we go. So GR number 4 is over in the Psychic Club, eh? I've heard that their clubmaster, Murray, has also been captured. Surely you can find a way to help him like you helped me. Good luck, Mint. You'll be able to save Murray with the kinds of power you showed me. Please, Mint! Psychic Club has been under GR4's control, too. Surely she's employed some sort of dastardly trap over there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's find out. <laughs> wait, actually, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if there's any different dialogue flopping out over here. Um. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, no. Uh-huh. No. Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're off. Psychic Claw, that's this double-tiered building over here. It's a little little offset like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but I assure you, it is standing strong. Let's take a look-see around here now. I won't say a word to you. You're just trying to spy on Team GR. I am. I, I, I'm here to defeat Team GR, not to spy on them. I say, what are you doing? Your hat looks lovely. <laughs> He's hat kid. He's like super enthralled by the hats. I love to be a friend. <laughs> what is this guy? Um, this is the problem. Nobody has the card I want. How about you? You have a Alakazam level 42 up for grabs? I do not have any Alakazam. I could trade you a very rare card for it if you do. Nah, we don't want to trade. It's hopeless. Gonna give you a Kangaskhan level 38. Alas. Alas. But yeah, trades are always open, so... <laughs> Mint. You know the lyrics to My Name is Imakuni? <laughs> Make it shorter! No, oh, and it can hurt my dancing. Let me power it up! Then it will get fast. <laughs> well, don't let it break! If that happens, don't tell anyone! Because then I won't know what to do! <laughs> Mima Kuni is something else. Alright. A quick list of characteristics of Psychic. Both strong and weak against Psychic, as I mentioned before. Some colorless resistor attacks, as mentioned before. And of course, rely on the psychic energies as usual with their typings. Psychic Pokemon has many useful po Pokemon powers like Damage Swap, as you see. Damage Swap, Curse, Invisible Wall, and Strange Behavior. If you're building a psychic deck, make sure you look at your options. And while in a duel, the B button may be used with the control pad to view your opponent's play area or discard pile. Yeah, I showed this before. This is pretty nice that they're teaching this in the game. Be down, your play area. Be left, your discard pile. Be up, your opponent's play area. Be right, your opponent's discard pile. Remember these handy functions. I shall, uh... Alright. Oh, no! Ah, Mint. So, you've come already. That's great. But you won't fight me just yet. Isn't that right, Murray? Precisely, Lady GR number four. These are my terms for one duel. You must defeat Murray first. Oh no! Another club master! I died for GR number four. Eh, I could duel the other members too. <laughs> I mean, why not? Is it cool? Is it cool? Why not? Use for prize cards. Psychokinetic deck. Let's go. <laughs> so, now I think we're getting the idea of what GR number four is actually doing to the club members. They're not being swooned like I joked about before. They're actually being taken over with mind control of some kind. Yeah. Anyway. Seriously, one basic again! <laughs> I mean, I got Bill and Jaws, yeah, but... Still! Still! Okay, she's only got one herself, but... <laughs> okay, now she's got two. 
And Ghastly's getting some energy. Cannot use any trainer cards. Oh no, that's too frightening. Too frightening indeed. That actually could be devastating, <laughs> depending on how things go, but... Um, yeah, the, the thing about this is that she'll eventually use Darkness, and then I'll be able to use trainer cards again, even though it'll do double damage, so... Big whoop, you know? <laughs> Done. Just wait for my ability to use trainer cards. Go ahead and use that darkness. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> she had to attack eventually, you know. So, while she can use that to stall out, like, suck away turns while she's setting up other stuff, with, you know, to suck with the trainer cards, it's not gonna last that long, and she's out of attack eventually. Double and fighting. Um, Gastly's are weak against, I mean, excuse me, resistant against fighting and weak against nothing. So, I still can't really do damage with the Hitmonchan, but I can power it up for the future. And... Professor Oak time! <laughs> so, I, I, I figured also I could switch into something if need be as well, but let's go Spiro on the bench to back up Hitmonchan. I don't actually think I'll be able to get that much use out of said fighting Pokémon because of the uh, resistances they have. I could have used my other deck, but I just... I don't, know, I don't really feel like it right now. <laughs> I just feel like going to Mason Laboratory to flop on over there. You know what? You can knock out that Hitmonchan if you want. I'm gonna... I'm gonna focus on other stuff, you know? You know? Sometimes, you just gotta focus on other stuff in order to win that game, as, as we found out before. Let's energy removal that Jinx, and... Let's allow things to get set up in the future. Haunter is a haunting. Got the nightmares of the 20s. That could be a problem. Um, I wonder if I should put out the other Hitmonchan to stall for a couple more turns while she takes prize cards if she wants. Uh, I may just do that. Yeah, I think I will. I mean, Hitmonchan is typically very good, but not versus the Psychic, so that's what I got the, the backup plan for. <laughs> Alright, we're done. But yeah, with that extra load of HP there, we should be alright for now. Hopefully. Hopefully. You know, maybe I should have switched it. Well, actually, maybe, I don't know. Because some Grass Pokémon are weak against the uh, Psychic type as well, so... Um... Alright, I'll also go and power up Spiro for the future and call it a turn. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh oh. It can return a Pokemon to my hand! Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting her to play that, but. Anyway, Psy Horror can make it go to a sleepy sleep. But it didn't really matter anyway. I just. Okay, all that Hitmonchan with double damage. Yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a Spearow setup here. Oh, Magmar, that's nice. Uh, and I'm gonna go and do some damage in the meantime. It's resistant to fighting, not psychic, like the Rattata line is, so... And I didn't even draw the Rattata. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this is another bad opening, opening game, I gotta say. I wonder if I'll be able to make it out of this one, though. I can always just replay or need beer, you know, whatnot. It's not, not like there's real punishment for losing other than re restarting the duel or anything like that. It's just a thing of, you know, <laughs> just another, another opening of awkwardness. <laughs> it's just, just another one to add to the stack. Kadabra is on... A field and the side. Yeah, like where are the rats that I usually draw? <laughs> where the poop is the scoop? Anyway, all right. So I got uh, Gengar weaken the little smidge there. Wonder if I should go. I guess I should start doing major damage with Charmander. Oh, oh, sure. I get the Raticate, but no. Um. I was gonna gust the wind to something, but maybe I'll just Ember. If he puts Charmander to sleep and doesn't wake up, I lose! <laughs> Let's see how things go. As I, well, actually, I'll probably lose anyway, because I don't really have... 
all that much to go by right now. Eh, we'll see though. Eh, I mean, not sleep, confusing, excuse me. Okay, so you got Rattata, finally. I'll try the retreat, might not work though. Because I'll have resistance to things. Man, <laughs> I even burned the energy card with that. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think that's over. I don't... I could do that. But I can't do anything else. <laughs> so it looks like... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's like... It's a... It's my, my bad luck finally caught up with me. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can get all tails here. Nope. You're probably gonna get all heads. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. Uh, that, was, that was a hor horrendous turnout. But, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't really do much there. <laughs> Let's go again, Stephanie! You don't care. You are weak. You cannot win. So there's one of the losing dialogues, I guess. So I finally lost one due to horrific horrific bad luck. But we'll see how version number two goes. Because it always seems like it turns off... Okay, there you go. Resistance to Psychic Rotata out in the wings and four prize cards are a go. Now watch, I just completely and utterly sweep her now. You can stop me from using trainer cards, but I got the right energy cards anyway, so yeah. Enjoy that this time. <laughs> I will bite you into oblivion this time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, where was where was this fuzzy little critter in the <laughs> Oh, jeez. Alright, so Frighten's working in her favor. Let's go ahead and Charmander. Uh, I cannot train her card again, so let's just bite. Knock out that Ghastly, and she plops out the Abra that's hanging out in the tree, evolves into Kadabra, and still can't really do anything because of the resistance. Uh, yeah, this Kadabra is 30 and 30. <laughs> so. She, her only option really is blink, but yeah, that's uh. Anyway, I'm gonna build. <laughs> that that's still not gonna do anything for the most part. Well, I can energy removal that to stall out even more. So I'm gonna bite, and there he looks like I've got the good luck this time, and she's got the bad luck. <laughs> yeah, you just do whatever you want on your turn there, and uh, uh do you think? I don't think I could get a Charmeleon and just finish her off this turn, do you? Like, maybe I can. That would be... That would be something after that first game. I could try it. Should I? Yeah, let's go for it. I think I'm in good position anyway, even though, even though I'm discarding some poop here. Let's go ahead here. Uh, nope, no Charmeleon. Okay. So that is... Semi bad luck, I guess. I mean, I don't have that many Charmeleons, so I, I can't really expect to draw into it. It was just like a thing of, eh, maybe I can pull it off and maybe it'll work, you know. Okay, this is going for the blink. Eh. Eh. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, the blink. Okay, well, actually, yeah, it did work, but I mean, <laughs> the blink will keep me stalled until she can do something? Maybe? We'll see. Nope! <laughs> so, she was able to stall for the turn as I was not- as I got noped with the power of the blink. Um, well actually, couldn't I? Could I? Wait, am I able to just switch into this? Uh, okay, so it- yeah, I, I can't just switch like I thought, because I was thinking like if it just affected Rattata, I could switch into Charmeleon and then call it a day. But I, I'm gonna put another Rattata on there, by the way. But um, yeah, well, let's try it anyway. If I, if I get heads, I win anyway. So I was thinking maybe I'll Professor Oak, see what I get out of that. But oh, didn't work for her. <laughs> well, well, we'll never know what Professor Oak will give us. All right. ADGR number four. I have been defeated. Yeah. 
Let's try it again. I fight for G. Oh no. <laughs> I want to fight for GR number four. Okay, I just wanted to see if there's any new dialogue since I beat her. Alright, other club members to go here. So with that, yeah, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I whip the other club members. I mean, this is. This is yeah, this is a. It's for the battle here, and eventually, yeah, it's kind of crazy.